It's hysterical. Um, and very good for us. It was great. That dress, it was called. Hugh Grant was the dashing leading man, and Elizabeth Hurley was Britain's glamour girl. But their love faced the ultimate test when Grant got arrested for improper behavior in a parked car in an alley. Shockingly, it didn't contribute to them going their separate ways. Instead, the couple ended up dating for another five years after the shameful incident. So why did they break up? We went from zero to somewhere together, and we went, we went through terrible years in the beginning, what we call the winter of discontent, when neither of us had any work, living in a tiny flat in Earl's Court. It was quite bonding, those things. We've got all the details for you in today's video. Grant and Hurley were a power couple before it was even a thing. He was the biggest star at the start of their relationship, having been in four weddings and a funeral and Sense and Sensibility. But Hurley, a successful model in her own right, could hold her own, especially on the red carpet. She created one of fashion's memorable moments in 1994, when she wore that black safety pin Versace dress to the London premiere of Four Weddings and a Funeral. The couple met on the set of the Spanish film Rowing with the Wind in 1987. It was Hurley's first major acting role. Grant played Lord Byron in the drama Mystery, and Hurley played his former lover Claire Claremont. The co-stars had fiery chemistry both on and off set, so it didn't take them long to go out and start dating. That was 1994, the height of their iconic romance. Come 1995, and things turned sour. You know the aphorism slash Kelly Clarkson chorus, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger? Well, Hurley and Grant are pretty much the personification of that sentiment. In the summer of 1995, the actor was in Hollywood to promote his film, Nine Months. It was pretty standard romantic comedy stuff. Unfortunately, he was booked on every talk show going forward. Why unfortunately? Well, before he appeared on the shows, he found himself behind bars and now has a mugshot that will forever haunt him. Liz and Hugh's romance faced the ultimate test when the actor was arrested for lewd conduct after picking up a sex worker, Divine Brown. Although to this day Hurley has never spoken out, Grant has talked about it in numerous interviews. Even recently, the 60-year-old star appeared on a podcast and discussed how he ended up arrested with Brown after police found them in a car parked near Sunset Boulevard in LA. Grant claims that he was disappointed in his acting in nine months and felt he let down his co-stars. He went to see a screening and realized that, quote, everyone in it was brilliant, but I was so atrocious that I was not in a good frame of mind. The film was about to come out in a week or two after that, and Hugh had a bad feeling about it. The actor was about to launch his first Hollywood film, and the pressure was too high. Hugh was gravely disappointed in himself. He didn't know what was going on. And one thing led to another. It was during the dark days of my Divine Brown scan. <laughs> I was just an idiot. I was, I was a grown-up idiot who got caught by the police. At the time, Grant reportedly paid Brown $60 for her services. He was ordered to pay a $1,000 fine and attend an AIDS education program. Brown was sentenced to 180 days in prison for performing the lewd act and breaking her probation. Grant said in a statement at the time, Last night, I did something completely insane. I have hurt people I love and embarrassed people I work with. For both things, I am more sorry than I can ever possibly say. Meanwhile, Divine and her manager were selling the story to the British tabloids for big bucks. Even in pre-Twitter and Instagram days, the tabloids made sure the story of Hughes' bust was front page, headline stuff. She later went on to make one million dollars from publicity from the scandal, reports say. Surprisingly, Hurley stood by his side throughout the scandal. And in 2017, long after they split, she made light of the situation on the TV series she was starring in at the time, The Royals. The actor played Queen Helena, the fictional Queen of England, set up with a male prostitute named, wait for it, Huge Grant. Side note, she did not sleep with him, but the joke delighted viewers. Two weeks after the incident, an unsmiling Elizabeth appeared with a sheepish-looking Hugh for the premiere of nine months. It was clear the fairy tale was over. Later that year, Hurley told Barbara Walters, I felt like I'd been shot. While Hurley stood by her man, the dynamics of the relationship had changed. When her love life came crashing down, Hurley's career started thriving. 
1995, she was named spokesperson for cosmetics giant Estee Lauder, and her acting career seemed to go from strength to strength, with appearances in two Austin Powers films and Bedazzled in 2000. I can see we're going to get along famously. Cheers, darling. In 2015, Hugh and Liz appeared separately with Andy Cohen on Watch What Happens Live. Hugh said that eventually she became like a sister to him, quote, The sex bit probably fizzled out, but uh, then and now, now she's my absolute best friend, number, number one person I call when I'm in a crisis. A month later, Elizabeth appeared on the show and had a different story to tell. She admitted that the sex was great, but Hugh was rather annoying and grumpy in every other aspect of the relationship. He used to really annoy me, actually. He did. Yeah, I mean, I love him, but yes. um, he's very annoying. Okay. Did he annoy you when he was here? Um, he didn't, but many of the viewers thought that he was very cranky and curmudgeon -y, and I thought he, he was just being... My he friends is, used but... to call him Grumple Stiltsky. Grant and Hurley never married and never had children together, but they remained the closest of friends. Nearly 34 years since the start of their relationship and 21 years since the split, the actors are still in contact every day. We met on a movie 29 years ago, and he's still my best friend today. And I still speak with him every day, she said back in 2016. That was the best co-star I've ever had, for sure. It helps that they are neighbors and are godparents to each other's children. Grant is the godfather of Harley's son, Damien, and she is godmother to one of his daughters. There's no way we're not going to mention that the cute little boy is now all grown up and hunky hot. He is a makeup model, and we can certainly see the familial resemblance. So, why have Liz and Hugh remained such close friends? And, I mean, we've been apart for longer than we were together now, because we were together for 13 years, and then we've been best friends for 15. Quite nice. When speaking of their current relationship, Grant compares the bond he shares with Hurley to one that a brother and sister might experience. The actor thinks it's partly because they went from zero to somewhere together and they went through terrible years in the beginning, when neither of them had any work, living in a tiny flat. It was quite bonding. Hurley referred to Grant as her go-to person for guidance. She still goes to him for advice on scripts. The former couple went through so much together. But I've been thinking, one of the most important things to keep good relations with your exes is to have a lot of respect for their current life, Hurley said. And back in 2018, it was Hurley who confirmed the arrival of Grant's fifth and youngest child, a baby girl. He had another one last week. He has five. He was over 50 when he spawned them all, Liz said on WWHL. He's an enchanting dad. Really, really sweet. Though Grant once told the Washington Post, I'm pretty selfish and I can't bear mess and ugliness, and those things seem to come hand in hand with children. The actor welcomed his fifth child with TV producer and wife, Anna Eberstein. He and Anna also share a son and a daughter. I think the bigger change was having children, actually. I do sometimes think uh, that helped me act acting-wise because uh, there's just suddenly all this love around. In 2011, Grant welcomed his first child with his former girlfriend, Ting Lan Hong. What's striking is that between the birth of his first and second children with Everstein, he reunited with Hong and welcomed his son Felix in 2013. Oh, wow, what a life. Through this decades-long friendship, both were in and out of relationships. Hurley dated businessman Steve Bing on and off in the early 2000s. They split for good after 18 months, only to discover weeks later Hurley was pregnant with Damien, who she welcomed as a single parent in 2002. Bing initially denied the claims, but a paternity test later confirmed he was the father. The businessman sadly passed away in June 2020, after reportedly taking his own life. His body was found here in LA's Century City neighborhood. Steve reportedly jumped from the 27th floor of this luxury high-rise building on Monday afternoon. Elizabeth wrote a tribute earlier in the week, sharing a series of photos of them together during their 18-month relationship. I am saddened beyond belief that my ex, Steve, is no longer with us. It is a terrible end. Our time together was very happy, and I'm posting these pictures because although we went through some tough times, it's the good, wonderful memories of a sweet, kind man that matter. In the past year, they had become close again. They last spoke on their son's 18th birthday. It's good that she has a close friend to lean on in times like these. Another proof that open communication will get you far. How do you guys feel about this English power couple's relationship? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for choosing Rumor Juice.
Spread the word and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. And we'll be right back with our newest celebrity stories.